We are on Lucky Episode 13! Woohoo! Oh, I'm lucky, yes, I'm lucky. I should have sung that tonight. I should have thought of singing. I should have thought of singing. Singing. Swimming. 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 Swimming
Jennifer always has really funny comments. If you want like the sideshow, just read Jennifer's comments sometimes. They're, they're funny. Um, uh, you know, along with the live. Um, hi, Abby. Hi, Squeeb. So many people coming in. All right. Um, Larry, you're here. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Okay. So this is, uh, let me tell you, this is what we do. I did my recap of the day. So, and I want to get to some other really fun stuff. So let me tell you what happened today. Um, we did our regular, um, I woke up this morning and thought, oh, I'm up so early. Why don't I just go for my walk right now? Except that it was 36 degrees in Nashville this morning. What? It was like 75 the other day. Welcome to Nashville weather. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit like New Jersey, but a little more strange. Um, and so we had some breakfast, we did school, right? We did homeschooling. And then uh, Skylar had one of her um, online classes. And so we're doing online classes a totally different way. I'm just basically hitting up all of her aunts and uncles and godparents. And I'm saying, hey, could you do a class in the afternoon for Skylar Faith? And no, it's not so that Andrew and I can go out on the patio and have a cocktail. Mm, no, it's because um, I want her to be able to see the people that she loves. And it's a great way for her to give this sort of um, amazing education. So today we have, what do we have, sweetie? We had My, um, babysitter Abigail. Your babysitter Abigail. And what did she teach you? What did she do with you? She um, teach me how to make bookmarks, which sounds really easy, but you can make two of them out of one paper. Whoa! Oh, it was nice. amazing. I heard her talking about shapes and stuff. It was really fantastic. And the nice thing is that our babysitter happens to be an art major. So yay! So that was pretty handy. It was great. Um, I encourage you to do this if you're kind of struggling with your kiddos trying to think of creative ways to do schooling. Um, this is something that's been amazing for us and we're, we basically, it's not structured. <laughs> Woo, just like this, it's not structured. We're basically saying, you know, anyone that can do something, whether you wanna come on and read a book, whether it's art or science or language arts or uh, music, really anything, um, just sharing time with her. It's fun for her to get other people's perspectives and just, you know, reach out and in with them. Um, and I really loved it, and I know she has too. She has a great time doing it. Um, and sometimes you can do it in your pajamas. She's raising, our audience member is raising her hand. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, Sarah. sorry. And pancake art. And pancake art, that was yesterday. Well, that was you really like that. Would that kind of, I feel like that could have been one of your favorite things because, yes, um, because with, with um, pancake art, you got to, um, I'm trying to start this watch party. Hope it works, let's see. Um, because with uh, pancake art, you got to eat it also, right? That was pretty fun, right? Was that awesome? Yeah. yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm gonna leave this right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't figured out this part yet. This is the, the being live and then the doing live and then the sharing live. Okay, we have great things planned for next week. Lots of amazing guests and a really fun thing that we're doing on Tuesday that I will tell you later about. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll tell you because we have to leave some surprises. Okay, shout outs of the day. Oh, dinner today. We always tell you what we're having for dinner. Who knows? I have no idea. Um, I usually have something cooking in the oven, um, or we have something ready to grill, or there's something in a crock pot. There's nothing. So no dinner. Sorry. Oh. No, I thought we'd just make those pancakes again. No, I'm kidding. We'll come up with something. I promise. Um, okay, so uh, one of the other things we do here um, before we get to the singing and the reaching out to other people is I try to tell you things that are going on, um, ways that you can help nonprofits. Um, so tonight there's no t-shirt. Um, I'm actually going to share two things that you can do, two important things in the community. So one of the things I saw online this morning was that Vanderbilt, um, you know Vanderbilt, um, University and Medical Center here in Nashville, um, they are actually still looking for people to donate PPE. And there is actually a link that you can uh, go to right now. Now, they, um, it changes, okay? Here's the thing, the same thing happened after the tornado. Needs change daily, so by the time you all log on to this, it could be over. But they're asking for different things. So this, this I think, is a real link for right now. I hope so. I'm going to show it to you. Andrew, maybe you can zoom in on that real fast. Wow. Yeah, it's fine. I'll also put it up. I'll put it up. I'll put it up. I'll put it up. I'll why why it up. are you moving away from me? <laughs> Just keep it right there. Um, yeah. There are people sewing masks, and sometimes it's not even for the healthcare providers. Now, uh, if you've seen the news, they're kind of encouraging people. Um, to go out and wear masks. We can talk about that another time, but um, it just might be something to do. I know a lot of people, I told you last week, one of my old theater professors from USC was actually sewing masks. A lot of people are doing it. Uh, costume designers, uh, moms are doing it. It's kind of an important thing. So um, we also got a little um, post from our community here in Nashville um, telling us to check in on different ways to volunteer. Uh, a few days ago, I, I heard that they still need blood. Um, the confusing thing, and maybe if there's some sort of a medical person out there can post this right now to let us know, post it on my Facebook page in the comments. Um, I know that they still need um, blood, but I'm not exactly sure how donating works right now. So if someone has something that they can say, 
about that, go ahead and let us know right now. Because along with having music and having fun and, and trying to share some smiles and laughter, this is always also really a good tool to share information. Okay, and then our charity this evening, I don't have a t-shirt because they're brand new, but um, may have, you, you may have already heard about this. I'm doing a shout out to, Tate, to uh, New Jersey and another um, Columbia High School grad. Um, so go ahead, Skylar Faith, tell them what our charity is today. Flag. It's Flag, that's Yay. the Frontline Appreciation Group, started by two moms. That's right, in New Jersey, one of whom is a CHS grad. Can you, you repeat go. that? It's Flag, Frontline Appreciation Group. So this is what they're doing, it's really cool. Um, they had an idea, they wanted to be able to service um, local restaurants to help them out, small businesses, you know, restaurant owners are really having a rough time right now, and they also wanted to help the healthcare providers. So um, they thought, wouldn't it be a nice idea if people could start like a Venmo or a GoFundMe, people could donate money, um, all of that money would go to a restaurant, a local restaurant in their town, and they could then use that money, pay it forward, and instead of uh, all the people that put the money in buying food for themselves, they would donate all the food to the hospital workers, all the staff, all the people in the field that are out there that need food. Some of these people, you know, are working long, 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 long hours. Everyone, not just the doctors and the people in the ER and the, the people, but the technicians and the, um, the people that are cleaning. Um, I mean, there's just so many people that make a hospital run and make medical offices run. I thought this was a really great idea. I love the New Jersey connection. Um, what I also found out in the tiny bit of research that I did today, which is not much, but I looked it up as quickly as I could, um, and what I found was it's already in Tennessee, y'all. Yes, it is. So there's actually a place that you can go on their page. It's flag2020.org. You can go on their page and you can find a way to sign up in your community so that you can start your own little um, uh, donation site uh, for this. It's amazing. They're, I just love the creative way people are trying to help. I'm going to cry, so I have to stop talking about that charity right now. Um, I love the way that people are trying to do good right now. Um, it's encouraging. I know that my circle is like that, but my goodness, I, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of people. I'm proud of people. So since, uh, since we're doing a little uh, shout out to that uh, fantastic charity flag, this is a brand new song. I've been recording some music here in, uh, in Nashville with this amazing band, and we were actually scheduled to go into the studio We had to cancel that session. Um, I know that we'll get back together to finish the CD uh, soon, but um, but I just had an opportunity. I, it was a it was a really neat thing that happened, and I was able to do a little music, and and um, and this was one of the songs that um, I wanted to record. And if you know the way that I do recordings, I sort of record, um, you know, the the new stuff. Sometimes I'll redo the old stuff, but I also um, go around and, and work, work with, um, you know, Noah, my long, long time writing partner. We've done some tracks together. Obviously, Larry Mitchell and I have done so many beautiful CDs together. Um, and I collaborate with a lot of other artists too. Um, and I realize how lucky I am to have this tool and I realize it now, now more than ever. It's such good therapy for my soul. So this is a newish song that eventually will um, get out there and I'm going to play it for you right now.
smell the coffee cooking in the kitchen. I can feel the cool breeze blow. I can hear them laughing. I can hear them singing by the old piano. So take your records. Take your photos. Put them in your box system. I'll have my true stories of two stories of love. Keyboard said RD, Randy Driscoll, get it? I thought that for the longest time. Wait, hold on, someone's at the door. I'm coming. I'm coming. Who is it? Hi! Oh, 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 oh hold on, honey, that was me. Hold on, that was me. Hi, honey, how are you? How are you? Good. I need to not look at my computer because I don't know where to look now. <laughs> You're looking perfect, my right? Computer or my iPad. I'm also going live on Instagram. Oh, oh. you see, crazy pants. Just look. Yeah. Hi, beautiful. So for those of you, Hi. so look at her knock on our come and knock on our door. Ba -na 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 -na. <laughs> right? Yep. Timely that one, right? Um. So. So this is our dear friend Ashley. Um, now, when you're, so I, I want to know this. This is a real question because I call you Ash or Ashley. Ashley Norton. Yeah. Do you go? Is like your stage name Ashley E Norton or just Ashley Norton? Yeah, I go by Ashley E Norton because Ashley Norton is a doorknob company. So. <laughs> <laughs> AshleyNorton.com. Okay. Well, listen, you could never, you could never get confused. Whatever, Ash is cool. I, I'll respond to anything. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so this is Ashley Norton. She's um, a beautiful singer-songwriter, part of an amazing duo, um, Wither Ward, and also an amazing singer-songwriter of her own, on her own. Um, and I was introduced to her through the beautiful Lisa Sanders. We've actually performed um, in Nashville together and in San Diego. That's right, she's been at Randy's Damn Jingle Ball. Um, I love her energy, I love her music, I love her stories, I just love her whole vibe. And um, I was so happy when you said yes, yeah. so thank you for doing this with us tonight. It makes me really, really happy. Thank you for um, having me. Oh yeah, so, um, so first thing I wanna uh, share with our viewers is tell me where you're calling us from because you're a little bit like a bohemian gypsy and you wander and tour all the time. Where are you coming from this evening? Yeah, which is so weird that I'm not a bohemian gypsy anymore all of a sudden. So I, I ended up um, coming back to Scottsdale, Arizona, where I'm from originally, because I, um, I have my parents here, and they're pretty high risk. So I wanted to come and kind of help them out. In fact, my stepdad actually went in for major heart surgery about an hour ago. Um, so... Uh, hopefully by the time we get off this call, everything will have gone just fine. And, um, so nerves are high around here, but I'm, I'm here with my mom. She's actually on the nurse, on with the nurse in the other room. So oh, wow. I'm just, I'm glad to have this distraction and, and be with my friends because we've been, uh, yeah, it's been stressful. Yeah, this so is adding a lot of stress. So we, well, yeah, and thank you for sharing that. So we check in usually with the, the artist or the friend or the guest that's going to, um, you know, sort of call in just to make sure that, you know, everything's sort of working in this very, very high, high tech operation we've got going here. You know, she's got three cameras where she is. And so we do, yes, we do a sound check. But, um, 
But she did mention that and I thought, first of all, it just brings home how real this crisis is for everyone. And it means so much that you're able to take just a few minutes away and we won't keep you that long, but to come and share this community with us. But, um, but I asked her if she wouldn't mind talking a little bit about how this, uh, this situation, this pandemic, this virus and um, you know, this sort of lockdown has, has really affected her and, and her family from like a personal standpoint, because I think so much is focused on, you know, worrying about getting the virus, who's gonna get the virus, who may not get the virus. But again, we have to remember that people who just need these surgeries that have these very, very specific needs and their right now needs um, are in a very different situation. Like the fact that you just said your mom is on the phone with the nurse when she would normally be in the hospital. You know, it's really shocking. Can you share a little bit of that, if you don't mind, with our, our listeners and our viewers? Yeah, I would love to because, you know, you don't, you don't really, a lot of people may not realize how serious this is until they have something affecting them directly. And um, there's two things that are affecting my family directly right now. One is, yeah, my, my stepdad needs a valve replaced in his heart and it's, it's essential and he needs it done very soon. So it's a good thing that he's getting it done right now in like literally the worst time to get surgery in um, <laughs> the century because um, uh, they don't let family members in at all. In fact, we literally dropped him off and he walked through the sliding glass doors and we waved and my mom was like peeking in through the thing and then we had to drive away and we had to, we had to come back home and wait for, for hopefully good news. Um, which is really weird because we're the kind of people that just sit there and the whole time, you know, we can't, he's going to be there for a whole week. And not only that, but he was actually supposed to get the surgery on Monday and they called us on Friday afternoon and said, wow. we're pushing back to Thursday wow. because there aren't enough beds for the COVID-19. Wow. wow. So yeah. it's affecting us in very real ways um, as far as that goes. And I, I mentioned to you earlier, we also happen to have my, my mom's first cousin um, went into the ER and is on a respirator and then her husband was admitted today and they're really fighting for their lives with COVID-19. Wow. So it's, um, it's hitting you in New Jersey. Jersey. In New What's Jersey. That? It's in New Jersey, you said, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. They're in New Jersey. So it's, it's been very depressing around here. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, and it, it is, it's hitting, it's hitting everyone. And I mean, I, I kind of believe at this point, if people don't understand or realize that, um, this is real, you know, at this point, I kind of don't know how I can drive that home anymore, but just in case there is anyone else out there, you know, this is serious, it's real, we need to make, take all the orders, you know, and Tennessee, as you guys just know, we just got a new alert from our governor today. It's essentially a stay at home order. It's not really a suggestion. Um, and everyone I know is trying to do that. There are people that have to go out there. There are people that have to do runs for essential things, have to make certain things happen. But. Um, but it is serious, and I'm so sorry your family's going through that. I will tell you one thing about this awesome Facebook community that I have. They, um, they unite in spirit. They're awesome. They send the most positive vibes out in the world. Many of them pray, and so we will send all the best vibes that we can out to you and your family right now because I know you need it, and I, I promise you that that's happening right now. Lots of love is coming to you and your family. So, Thank you. I'll take all the love I can get. <laughs> no, you will. That's exactly what I need right now. Yeah, we all do. Well, um, so I've had the pleasure of listening to this woman sing, and I know, you, you know, that's what I think, too, as an artist. In some ways, music is so healing, and it feels so good, but there are other times when it's just like, wow, it's really hard to grab this instrument and really sing. But if you could for us, I know that we would all love to hear you perform something. Would you do that for us? I mean, you happen to be holding a guitar, so I figure I'm just going to make you use that prop. Since I'm just holding it, I'll do that. Okay, awesome. So this is my beautiful friend, Ashley. Please go ahead and um, entertain us. Thank you, Randy. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And yeah, this song, I've, I'm, I've been doing this song a lot lately because also Randy's, um, Randy's in Nashville, uh, if you guys don't know that. And Nashville just got hit really hard by some tornadoes, which was literally my worst nightmare for during the four years that I lived there. So it's pretty surreal to see if that happened from afar. And um, I wrote the song when I lived in Nashville about, or I'm sorry, I wrote the song after I left Nashville about an area of Nashville I lived in called Germantown, which got hit really hard by the tornadoes, and in fact, I'm not even sure if my apartment's still there. But there's a line in the song that talks about the dent in my wall, and it's referring to my uh, uh, my ex-boyfriend when he got mad. 
put a dent in my wall. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so weird to, to sing it now because it just has a totally different vibe. Different yeah. meaning. So this is called Ghost of Germantown. I wanna sit at a bar and figure you out in climactic conversation tonight. questions. Um, I always preface this by saying that we know that people are having a hard time all over right now. It's, it's not really um, possible for everyone to be in a place where they can support or tip or give. But if there are people that um, want to hear more of your music, who want to tip you out a little bit, who want to, um, you know, buy a CD or even maybe not now, but down the road when they're more able to, where can we find you? Because you're getting really lo lots of love on my page. You're getting great voice and great song. And so where can people find you? Aww, thank you guys. Yeah, I have um, I have a Venmo, so if you want to, yeah, because we're all out of jobs here in the music industry, so, um, but if you feel like sending me a virtual tip, all your virtual tips are very much appreciated, and I'm on Venmo, is um, uh, Ashley-Norton-7, I'll put that in the comments, Ashley-Norton-7. 
Smash seven. Smart girl. Um, I'm on cash at Ashley E. Norton. You can listen to my band Witherward, which Woo! is where we have that song actually Witherward recorded and released, Yay! goes to Germantown. And um, yeah, that's on uh, uh, witherward.com with the silent H W H I T H E R W A R D. Yes. We're on yes. all socials. I'm on Patreon. You guys can find me on Patreon. It's like five bucks a month. You get to hear at least four new songs a month that awesome. I record and release on, on awesome. the page. Plus other things from there. Blah, blah, blah. So Yay. Well, that's it. No, that's good. That's good. And people, you know, and people just always love being connected to new music. And I've had, I've had artists from all over the country and I'll continue to do that next week. All kinds of artists too, poets and journalists and speakers and singers. So it's great to, to find that my friends are now being introduced to you. That makes me super happy. So, and who knows? And the same. Thank you for my friends and fans who are watching. Definitely, definitely, definitely check out more Randy's music. You will not yes, regret it. And I'm probably going to go you. away. I think she's, you're going to definitely stay on a place. Awesome. Life. I'm going to do one little, I always close with one little something, you know, a little shout out. But okay. before I go, I'm going to ask you the three questions. This is my thing I've been doing every night. I'm asking the same three questions to get different artists' perspectives. So here we go. The first okay. question is, what do you feel personally <laughs> um, has been the worst part of this time of social isolation and um, you know confinement quarantine what what for you personally and I know that this is really hitting home so whatever you're feeling that you yeah. want to share I mean the main thing for me personally is just being away from my boyfriend Brad um, he, you know we said we, we made the decision to to, um, to say goodbye for an unknown period of time about two weeks ago a little over two weeks ago now, um, oh God, maybe, yeah, it's like 17 days ago. I don't know. We have a little counter, yeah. but, um, yeah, he's still working and he's and like I said, my parents are high risk and so I'm here helping them. And so he can't, he usually comes in on weekends and he can't even do that right. because, right. um, they have to stay in quarantine. Sure. So that's the hardest part is being away from him for an unknown period of yes. time. Separation. Absolutely. Separation yeah. from your love. I totally, I totally get that. And we realize a lot of people are in that situation and we, we realize how lucky we are that we're, um, quarantined together. Um, okay, yeah. so then on the flip side of that, if there is a silver lining or a bright spot, what do you think? Um, and it can be whatever you are feeling about this. Um, what is the best part of this? If there is a best, what's the best part of this time? There is actually, because I am making so much music right now. I'm writing a lot. I've had some virtual writing sessions mm -hmm. yeah. and, um, I've had, uh, um, I've had some time to lay out by my parents' pool, which is pretty nice. Yay. <laughs> and just some time to like be you quiet and reflect the dogs are pretty cute. So they yes. just walked in. The Animals are good. For babies are good. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's great. And it does. I mean, I think I saw one of your posts. That is nice. You're you're in Arizona, right? So you get some sun and you get some... Yeah, it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's like 80 degrees right now. I it's feel you. Shirt. I'm feeling you. Yeah. Um, okay, and then the last question. And I understand that, you know, when we started this every night, we have no idea how many weeks or days it might run. And it looks like it might run for a bit now. So this could definitely change in a month um, or, you know, God forbid, too. But what have you learned from this experience? What have you, my sweet friend, learned from this experience? Um, really how... Um, I've actually learned how to wash my hands. I thought I knew how to wash my hands and I didn't. I also really hope that we can stop shaking hands with each other. I mean, I feel like there's even a hug feels more, more <laughs> safe. Right. Um, so, uh, and just to, yeah, like, I, I don't know the whole 30 seconds thing, like just, I felt like I was doing that before. And then I realized by actually counting to 30 that I wasn't. <laughs> so it's, uh, I've, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's smart. I think that's, that's hopefully smart. something everyone's getting something out of that. Right? I think you're thinking like a lot of people are right now, honey, a lot. So, um, well, thank you so much for joining us. It's really good to see you. I say every night that I'm selfishly just checking in with the people I love and it feels good when they pop up on the screen and I feel like they are close to me. Oh, and now the puppy, oh, which no, is no, this, no, there no, you no, go. No, that's no, what we all need really. So the puppy, Sky? yeah, Skylar's yeah, so yeah, happy to see the puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy,
All right, I love you, girl. I'll Thanks. see you, I'll see Thank you, you soon in the real world. Okay. Bye, Bye. Bye, honey. Love you. That's my friend. That's Ashley. I have the best friends, and she has cute dogs, and so animals are good, too. We have a lot of cuteness planned for in the next couple of days and some beautiful things. Um, I always try to leave with something, um, and it's usually something that I just decided at the last minute that I was going to play. Uh, sometimes it's a song of mine, but sometimes it's not. And um, so here, this is a, I was asked to sing this song a couple years ago. Uh, I was asked to follow like a sermon, like a, um, a, a message at a church that I was performing at. Um, and I've, I've actually done this twice at two different denominations. Um, and I was thinking about the words today. <clears throat> and I know there's a lot of people out there that are probably at one time or another thought that you didn't like this song because maybe um, you've heard the melody um, while sitting on a small boat over and 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 over until you wanted to cry. But I was thinking today not about that, but about the words to this. And so I love the words and I'm going to sing it in my own way. Your tribe, and I love my tribe. Mwah. Go out, do good, be safe. Love you.